At least three dozen homes have been evacuated and thousands of acres are scorched as crews attack three wildfires in Chelan County. The largest has burned a huge swath of land along the Naham Canyon. That's where residents have been forced to leave. KXOY 4's Lindsay Cohen is live at the Chelan County Fairgrounds, which is ground zero for the firefight. Well, Clyde, this is the command post here tonight where dozens of firefighters are sleeping. They'll be getting up first thing in the morning to attack this head on. Earlier in the night, it was tough to pick up on our cameras, but up along the mountain, we could still see the glow of what was burning in the distance. Down on the mountain is where the Chelan County Sheriff's Office has been keeping residents at bay. The largest of the three fires here broke out around 3 o'clock this afternoon, and within two hours, we're told it had grown to more than 500 acres, according to the Washington State Department of Natural Resources. The latest estimate is that more than more than 3,000 acres here have burned. More than three dozen homes are under mandatory evacuation. Smoke could be seen from as far away as Leavenworth, Wenatchee, and even from Seattle. One man told us earlier tonight that about $3,000 worth of his property and equipment is at risk. Unfortunately, my property that's up there was a hay farm, and so the hay is sitting right now at about four and a half feet high, and when it goes through there, it's going to go through very fast. Are you nervous? I'm a little worried about it. <laughs> Well, earlier in the day, more than 150 firefighters and crew here were attacking the blaze from the ground and from the air. A helicopter was dropping large buckets of water and bulldozers were cutting fire lines along the ground. We're told tonight the fire is almost to the top of Birch Mountain, which can be seen, uh, which overlooks actually Wenatchee. But right now, a DNR spokesman says that fire line appears to be holding. The good news is no property has been damaged and no injuries have been reported. Reporting live in Kashmir, I'm Lindsay Cohen for KXLY4 HD News.